I'm ready to do this already because I've been waiting so long. Hi guys, it's Megan. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be donating my hair. I've been growing my hair for a really long time, probably like a good five years or more. I wanted to donate it before the pandemic, but that got delayed and I feel like it's finally time to chop it off. I wonder if people will even recognize me with short hair. The last time it was actually short, I looked like this. Anyways, I plan on cutting it like this short, maybe more. Here's some inspiration of what I'm going for. So yeah, pretty much like a medium bob. If I get 12 inches of healthy length, I plan on donating to wigs for kids. Some of the hair I carry is dead ends, so that'll have to be trimmed before I give the donation. Trimming those split ends will take away some length, so we'll see what happens. If you're deciding to donate your hair, you can get a free cut from Great Clips if you decide to donate to Wigs for Kids, just to spread the word a little. They're a non-profit organization and they accept non-dyed hair that has to be a minimum of 12 inches. I put some links and information in the description. Also one more thing, before I go to the salon my hair has to be washed, cleaned, and dry. If you fail to dry your hair it can actually mold when you put it in the plastic bag. Then when you ship it away it will be unusable. I've already washed it, but now I need to dry it. So, uh, let's go do that. Also, real quick, I wanted to mention that I feel like my hair kind of just stopped growing at some point. Like, it's literally the same length it was two years ago, and I don't know why. Maybe it has something to do with the split ends? But I think getting a haircut will definitely help keep it healthier. The time has finally arrived! I'm here in the chair and first the length has to be measured. I blurred the hairdresser's face for privacy and muted the audio because there was some music playing and I don't want to worry about copyright. Once the right amount of hair has been determined, it must be sectioned into ponytails. In my case, I was able to get four segments. It is very important to secure the hair tightly so it doesn't fray later on. Here comes the first cut! It's always so crazy to watch because at one point it's attached to my head and with a quick snip of the scissors there you go you can hold it in your hands I had to sit very still so it didn't feel really different right as it was cut only after the last one was removed and seeing all the hair on the table was when I felt amazed all that hair now. Afterwards it got packaged up with a donation form and we were ready to ship it off. That was pretty easy. So here it is. What do you think? I like how it came out. It feels quite weird though. Like any change, this is something that I gotta get used to. I feel like it's kind of just dangling from my head. Before my hair kind of just rested on my shoulders and my chest, but now it's just hanging in the air. The thing is, I don't know what to do with it. I can't put it in a full ponytail and I'm not sure which way to part it. Before, I only kept my hair in one way, a middle part. But now it goes to the side and pretty much wherever because it's light enough to float around. I have to find my style, really. A half up, half down looks nice too. Like this. I wonder what it would look like if I curled it tightly or I used a straightener. It's gonna be so much easier to manage having short hair though. Washing it will be a breeze now. Usually with long hair, I would have to take tons of shampoo and conditioner to cover each part. But now I'll only need a tiny drop. I'll have to make a video of the perks of having short hair. And with that, the struggles. But there can't be too many of that. Anyways, it's kind of just poofy. Especially if I brush it, which takes an incredibly short amount of time. It just gets even more frizzy. The hair pretty much puffs out, but it's much healthier now. 
And I'm so glad I'm able to share my hair with children who don't have their own. That's what makes this so special. I can help other people in the process of doing something for myself. That's a win-win situation. I hope it goes to good use though, and it actually feels really soft. I ended up with about 16 inches to donate, which is very good. It equates to around 40 centimeters. And some of the length will be discarded through the wig making process, and also the split ends which are not removed. Thanks for watching this video. I would be happy to hear if you learned anything useful and what you thought, so leave a comment. See you in the next one. Bye!